Section 1, Gear of Materials. The following materials are required to assemble a set of racks. The second section of the tool list. The tools used in this video are number 3 hexagonal wrench. The third section of material assembly. Step 1 Assemble the liner assembly. Snap the metal pieces of the liner into the liner at the designated positions. Step 2. Place the inner liner and the frame in the way as shown. Then insert the frame liner. Insert the frame liner into the front, rear, left and right frame main beams in the specified position and direction. And insert it to the end, align the screw holes of the main beam. Note no abnormality in the direction and position of inserting the liner. No gap after inserting tightly. Make sure the direction of the arrow of the liner faces the direction of the machine head. And the screw holes are in the same position. Pay attention to the front and rear inner liner and the front and rear main beams to insert to the limit slot. Make sure there is no abnormality in the insertion direction and position of the inner liner. No gap after inserting tightly. Finally, the edge frame main beam reinforcement carbon plate. Lock the main frame with 24 pieces M42 hexagon socket head cap screws. Pay attention to the plane of the reinforcing carbon plate against the plane, not to notch. Note that only three screws are attached to each carbon plate. Similarly, we install the rest of the carbon plates. So the frame assembly is assembled. The third step is to put the front cross beam of the machine frame, the anti-pulling part front, medicine box limit wheel, frame beam, carbon plate, water pipe buckle. Now three hexagonal wrench are placed as shown in the picture. Note the grooved part of the front cross member and the anti-pulling part together. First, use an M425 socket head cap screw to assemble the carbon plate. Assemble the carbon plate and the anti-pulling parts together. Then use two M42 hexagon socket head cap screws to put the carbon plate with the front cross member. Assemble them together. Note that the groove of the anti-pull part is facing inward. Similarly, assemble the other anti-pulling part as well. After that, use 520 plus M48 plug screws. Assemble the peel box limit wheel and the front beam together.
finally put the water pipe buckle, use one M425 socket head cap screw, installed to the anti-pulling parts, note that the groove of the hose buckle is outward. This way the front cross member assembly is assembled. Step 4. Similarly, we will assemble the rear cross member assembly together. After assembling, put the front and rear cross member assemblies on one side for backup. Fifth step, we put the peel box positioning corner block assembly. The line card and the main beam are assembled together. First, we put the line card to the body of the frame according to the anti dial direction. After that, we lock them with M412 hexagonal screws respectively. Next, we put the peel box positioning corner block assembly to the body of the main beam in the dummy proof direction. Then we use two M412 hexagon socket screws to lock them respectively. Similarly, the rest of the peel box positioning corner block assembly and the line cart assemble to the main beam of the machine frame. The sixth step is to assemble the shield quick release mail buckle and water pipe buckle to the main beam of the frame. First, put the back of the main frame beam upwards. Then use one M412 hexagonal screw. Assemble the quick release tapping buckle to the main beam body. After that, use one M412 hexagon socket screw respectively to the main beam body, lock to the body of the main beam. Similarly, we put the rest of the water pipe buckle and the shield, assemble the quick release buckle. Step 7 Assemble the front and rear beams. Assemble the front and rear cross member and frame kickstand assembly together. Note the direction of the head. First of all, the front cross member assembly and kickstand to the body of the frame. Note that each frame stand. Attach the case in the outward direction. Then use 1M416-5M412 socket head cap screws to fix.
The eighth step is to attach the other side of the rear crossbar assembly with the body of the frame fixed together. In step 9, we fix the front and rear beams with carbon reinforcement plates. Similarly, we will fix the rest of the carbon plates in turn. Step 10 We fix the battery fixing assembly, assembled with the main beam of the frame. Note, put the battery holder into the main beam body in the direction of security. After that, we fix it with 6 PCM412 hexagonal screws respectively. Similarly, we will also fix the other one. Step 11 Assembly of the inner joint and the body of the frame. Note that the groove of the inner joint to the right is the right side of the inner joint. The groove to the left is the left side of the inner joint. Note that the glazed inner joint is mounted on the right side of the frame. Note that the left side of the inner joint is mounted on the left side of the basket. After that, use M416 socket head cap screws. Fix the inner joint left, inner joint right. These two are reserved holes, no screws will be installed for now. Before the inner joint, after the inner joint is fixed with M412 hexagonal screws. Finally, we lock the screws one by one. Similarly, we will assemble the rest of the internal joints. Note that here is the reserved hole position. In step 12, we turn the main beam over, fix the screws one by one. Step 13 The main beam of the machine frame. Assembly of carbon pipe clamps and slurry fixing sleeve. We use two M412 socket head cap screws respectively. With M4 stainless steel spacer, assemble the carbon pipe clamp and slurry fixing sleeve together. Step 14. We use two M412 socket head cap screws. Fix the carbon pipe clamp. Note that the slurry fixing sleeve is facing the machine head.
Similarly, we also fix the other carbon pipe clamp. Here the frame is assembled. Note each inner joint needs to be installed with two brass sleeves above and below. The front and rear of the inner joints need to be fitted with joint bumper pads. Section 4 Assembly Points Review 